This is the DKP administration training for claims personnel and service to be able to use our dealer access portal, which allows you to file claims online for the products that are sold in your stores. You can simply visit our website by going to dkpadmin.com and hit enter, and it brings you to this main landing page. You'll click customer support, and it's going to allow you to file a claim through this portal. A reminder that any claims that are greater than $5,000, you can simply call our toll-free number, and that toll-free number will be also on this page at 888-356-6605. don't want to wait on the phone, uh, you can always click sign in here where it says dealer seller access portal. You'll sign in. It's going to bring you to our dealer access page in order to access your account. You'll enter your email address and your password and click log in. Should you forget your password, you can always click the Forgot Your Password link, and it will automatically email you a new password, allowing you to reset it 24-7. You do not have to call us to do that, and it can be done at any time, as long as you use your valid company email address. Um, in this instance, uh, it's going to bring you to the Contract Search page, which is where you want to start as you need to look up the contract for this particular customer. You can always search by multiple methods. If you'll notice, you can do it by the product status, which is if it's a pending or active contract. Uh, you can do it by individual product, whether it's a service contract, maintenance plan, tire and wheel plan. Uh, you can search by the contract number if they have their contract number, the VIN, and any other information may be there. Most dealers use the dealer, the customer's first and last name and or at least the last date of the VIN. In this case, I'm just gonna search by product and hit search, and it's going to automatically alphabetize this list, and it's going to give me a lot of different items, right? So in this case, I want to use this particular VSC that's right here at the very top, and it's going to give us the information about the contract, uh, the machine, just to make, please always verify that the serial number matches the contract of the uh, machine or the bike that you have. You'll also notice that there are multiple things on this screen, including details about the service contract itself. So on this screen, you can see there's a blue underline here. It's going to allow you to see the covered components. If you click the covered components button, you can quickly see if a, a part or component or component group is covered by the plan. If you'll notice, you can scroll through the list. So as an example, we'll pick an engine and we're going to look for engine mounts. And in this case, we can also scroll and see that the engine mounts, front, left, right, location, they're all listed here. And so we know that this is an eligible component for coverage. You can also view a copy of the contract to look specifically, should there not be a particular component listed there, you can actually see a copy of the contract by clicking Contract Copy, and it'll pull up a copy of the contract itself, along with any key terms, what is covered and also what's not covered. So if something happens to be excluded from coverage, it'll give you that list of information, what the maintenance requirements, and you can actually print a copy of this contract for the customer should they have lost their contract or just want to see a copy of it. To continue the claim, you simply click Add Claim. Now all past claims will be listed right here. In this case, this particular service contract hasn't had a claim. You can click Add Claim. It opens up the Add Claim screen. It's very easy to add a claim. You simply enter the lost date, and you can do that by clicking on the calendar or entering the date yourself. In this case, I'll use the shortcut. A loss odometer can be the actual odometer if it has odometer miles or if it has hours like an ATV or UTV may have. So let's say this one's got 150. The repair order number is your repair order number, whatever that number is. You enter the current customer's phone number just to make sure that if there's a need for that to contact the customer in regards to their service or maintenance history or to be able to answer a question so the customer contact us directly asking why something was uh, declined, if there is a decline. Um, the service or contact, this is going to be your name. Just type in your name. Uh, the customer complaint is the actual complaint. Uh, came in, check engine light was on, or vehicle wouldn't start, or having to constantly jump the battery, or engine is jumping every time they move the machine. The cause of failure, in the case of our engine mounts, to say, hey, you know, the engine mount broke, you know, so that's the cause of the failure, the cause of the complaint. And then the correction would be to repair and replace the engine mounts. Now, your labor rate should automatically be in there, but if for some reason it's not preloaded, or if there's a special rate for that labor uh, or for that group, you'd simply enter that information here. 
if there's a rental vehicle involved, anything else that's supplemental that we may need to know, you'd simply enter that additional information. Finally, uh, to be able to end the claim, if you notice here at the bottom, it's asking for the loss codes. So you would simply, let's say for this engine mount claim, you click search, engine, and this gives you actually every single loss code for each of the items. In this case, we were just told it was an engine mount. I didn't know which one in particular, so I'll enter that one. It says it's covered. You enter your part number here, the part description. You just enter what it is, which is the engine mount, and then you would continue on by saying, hey, how many mounts were broken? Let's say if it's two, and that part price was $90 for each one, and this is your retail price. Notice it totals it out. Then you provide the labor time. Let's say it takes 1.2 hours, but it also took an hour of diag. You would enter the 2.2 with the diagnostic time. You enter that information, and it'll allow, and if your labor rate is already included, it will total out that. Now, you continue doing this for each one of the parts and any labor that's associated with it. If you have more than three or four, you can simply click New Line, and it'll add additional lines as necessary. Once you're ready to submit that claim, you just click Submit. Now, in this particular case, it may also tell you if you're missing any information. So I can click Submit on this one in particular. It says your claim has been submitted. Here's the loss date, engine amounts. Here's the total amount. And here's the actual claim reference number for, for you. All you would do at this point, let's say if you needed to know immediately, simply click an email to our claims team by entering claims, C-L-A-I-M-S, at dkpadmin.com. You'll say, hey, I've got this claim. Here's the claim number. It's already entered. Customer's waiting or, you know, anxious to get their machine back. And then uh, our claims team will enter that information. Now you can view those claims in status and notice now that updated and says, right, here's the claim. And that's the claim number. We come to claims. And you can actually see a list of all the claims that are working in your claims department. In this case, you see the claim, the engine mount that was entered, and our claims team at this point, and you can review the parts and labor that was entered, the part component labor guide, and it breaks it out for you, parts and labor, and just the current status if it's uh, requested. If it says approved, then obviously it's already approved. You go ahead and do your work. You don't even have to talk to anybody. Uh, and if it's uh, not approved, it'll say declined. So if an individual part was declined or a seal or a gasket or something like that, or gasoline, whatever, uh, it wouldn't be approved. It would show you that as well. Now, when it comes time to get paid, all you simply do is, is you can attach that repair order here by clicking attach and choose the file that you wish to upload. You know, it could be from your system or, you know, you can take a picture with your phone and then send it to yourself via email. But again, at that point, you choose that file, hit close, and it'll automatically and save it. And it will automatically attach that document to this particular repair order so that you can get paid immediately. You can also email the signed repair order once your claim is finished uh, and completed for payment to claims at DKP admin. Reference this number and we will pay you with a virtual credit card directly back by email or fax if that's your preferred method. Again, this is how easy it is to do these items. You can add different claim notes. Uh, you can add multiple documents to say it was a flat tire and you had to take a picture of the tire or the damage. You can also attach that claim document right here once the claim has been started. If you have any other questions about how to enter a claim or just need assistance on your first one, feel free to review this video or you can actually reach us at 888-356-6605 at our claims department. You can also reach out via email at claims at dkpadmin.com. Thank you and have a great day.